Yo, yo, it's Yerk, and since Season 8 has started, I've gotten so many comments asking me to make the sideways in Fortnite Creative, and I wasn't really sure if it was possible, but I think I've got it. A lot has changed since I made all those Rift Zone tutorials way back when, and the sideways is kind of similar to the Rift Zones, but let's see what the final product is going to look like first. So, as you guys can see, it's not completely perfect, but we got a pretty good sideways effect going on here. The zombies can't leave the sideways, and we can't see in if we're on the outside, and we can't see out if we're on the inside. But now that we know what we're going to make, let's actually hop into this tutorial. Alright, so step one, we're going to grab out a race checkpoint, and we're going to set the checkpoint number to checkpoint 149. Then we're just going to place another one down, and we're going to set this one to 150. And then we're going to set the inactive color, the current color, and the completed checkpoint color to red-orange. After that, we just want to make it visible prior to the race start. And we also want to make it visible when passed. And last but not least, we want to set play audio to no. Then we just want to make the checkpoint 150, the one we just got done with, maximum size. Once we have it max size, step two, we're just going to take that checkpoint and we want to have grid snap on. And we're just going to rotate it eight times using the yaw axis and place one down each time that we rotate it. All right, now step three, we're going to pull out the spooky particles gallery and grab out this smoke piece. We need to change the smoke color to purple and the motion speed to very fast. We're also going to set the smoke tiling to 2x and we're going to set double sided to yes. Then we want to rotate it so that way it's facing like straight up in the air. And once we have it there, we're going to use the pitch axis and we're going to rotate it one time so it's facing inwards just like this. Alright, so now step four, we're actually going to place down a floor piece and then we're going to extend out four tiles on each side. So you should have a little plus sign that looks like this. Then we're going to take our smoke particles and we're going to place one down at the edge of all four sides of our plus sign, making sure the smoke is always facing inward. Then once we have those four, we're just going to copy the four smoke particles and rotate them two times using the yaw axis and then go back and change all four of those smoke particles that we just placed, the diagonal ones, to orange. Alright, for step five, we're actually going to need to pull out the sky dome device and open up the settings and we're going to change the light source to none. Then we're going to set the light source color to gray. Then for the top color, we're going to set that to red, orange. And the middle color, we're just going to set to orange. Then going down for the fog, we're actually going to set that to purple. And then we need to set a 60% density. We also want to make it a volume. And we're going to make the width and depth 17. And we're going to make the height 13. Click OK. And step six, we're going to need a mutator zone. We're going to set allow weapon fire to yes, allow building to no, width, depth, and height to 10, and we're going to turn gravity to low. Now, step seven, we're going to pull out a zombie spawner. All I changed in here was the spawn distance to three, the despawn distance to four, and set despawn distance to from spawner instead of from player. Then we're also just going to make it invisible in game. So now for step eight, we're just going to put it all together. So grab your smoke particles first, copy the middle floor piece that intersects our plus sign, place that down right underneath of your mutator zone. Then we're going to head over to your race checkpoints and copy the eight that we set up earlier, move them over and make sure they're right in the middle. And then we just want to place them down. Then we just want to turn off grid snap and we want to rotate it very slowly along the yaw axis until we fill up the gaps between each checkpoint just like this. And that's going to be how you guys can make the sideways in Fortnite creative. I know so many of you guys were asking for this and I did my best. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment sideways down in the comment section. I'll be sure to heart every single person who comments sideways. But click here to see how I made all those old rift zones in Fortnite creative. Thanks so much for watching and as always, stay up.